Oh, welcome back. Today I'm going to talk about bike lights and specifically these Baja Designs S1 cornering lights that I ordered. They're just under 2,500 lumens and they're 20 watts. And my goal is to eliminate all the batteries associated with all my other lights. Battery for the main headlight, battery for the tail light. Um, so I'm replacing those batteries with this DC-DC converter. This converts the 48 volts of the e-bike battery that I have into 12 volts to run accessories like this and uh, an extra LED tail light. This is a close-up of the S1 cornering lens. They also have a wide-angle work light and a spotlight. It's a nice compact weather sealed cast aluminum body. It's about two inch by two inch by two inch and this mounting bracket's reversible if you want a vertical or horizontal mounting. Overall it's perfect size for bike light. This is the DC-DC converter I'm using. This one happens to be 240 watts. I'm using a 60 watt converter on my other bike. So this takes 48 volts and steps it down to 12 volts. So this is my bike with the headlights installed. I have a lower one that's kind of pointed down low, acting kind of like a fog light. I really hate blinding people on the trail, so I try to keep it as low as possible. And then I have one mounted up high, which is my high beam. And I can turn it on and off with this switch. And this one's pointed more upright, so it'll light a farther distance away. I just installed this with pop rivets into the bike frame. And I made this little faceplate to hold the power button and the LCD screen for my bike controller. I didn't have enough flat space on my bar to mount everything uh, without having everything kind of crooked. And I installed my lighted switch here for my high beams. And that's my LED tail light. I have it wired directly to the DC-DC converter so there's no batteries, no switches. It's just always on when I'm riding. So this is the battery pack that I'm using. It's made out of 18650s. And I have a 13S BMS on the top, and I cut the grooves out of my CNC router so that the, the wires have a little raceway to run in without getting pinched. And on the front, I have a DC-DC converter. So this converts 48 volts into 12 volts to run my lights. So that's what these two wire nuts are. So this is my main XT90 plug that goes into the, the motor. I also have a charge port here on the top that plugs into my charger. The DC-DC converter is powered by this connector that plugs into the charge port of my battery and it lets me unplug it so that the DC-DC is not constantly powered and draining the battery. Uh, it goes through a little 2 amp fuse and then these two wire nuts are used for my 12 volt circuit. And if you haven't seen these wire nuts before, they're really handy. They're rated for 32 amps, and they're reusable, and they're spring-loaded, so the wire will never come loose. And I have a little cutout here that's used to prevent my cable harness from chafing. So here's a close-up of the battery installed in the bag. And I have this giant zip tie holding the battery down, so hopefully if I leave my bike parked, someone won't be able to steal the battery unless they cut this giant zip tie. And it also helps keep the bag from sliding around. The DC-DC converter has a huge inrush. It always kind of creates a spark and a pop when I plug it in. So this connector has an anti-spark pre-charge resistor. So as you plug the connector in, it slowly charges up through a resistor, which is kind of shown in green. And then when you plug it all the way in, that's ready to accept full current. This is the charger I'm using to charge my batteries. It's just a power supply and I have the voltage settings for 100% SATA charge and 90% SATA charge. When I want to charge, I just click this remote timer and that'll run the battery charger for an hour. The leads go into the bike battery. I have a diode installed just in case I hook up something backwards. And this is the XT90. I also have an inline fuse. And it just plugs in to the battery. And we're pulling 48 volts at 10 amps. The fog lights are about $100 each 
The DC-DC converter was about $20, and the rear brake light was $10. This is probably the cheapest option to get an insanely bright bike light and tail light because you're not buying extra batteries and you don't have to charge separate batteries. My e-bike battery will run the high beam and low beam fog lights for about 14 hours, so it really doesn't impact the range at all. With my other high-end bike lights, I would always run them on a dimmer setting just to make sure that the battery would last my entire ride. So it's nice never having to worry about the batteries dying on these lights. My favorite part is having the low beam low and having the ability to dip the high beam on and off so that I'm not blinding people on the trail. I'll put links in the description below for the parts that I bought. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below, and thanks for watching.